Religious excuses are just an explanation of the bad thing they did with religion adverbed onto the end. I mean, the accusation is you discriminated against this gay couple. And the excuse is I discriminated against this gay couple religiously. And that would be fucking hilarious if the courts weren't buying them. Of course, as soon as this shit started, all the atheists of the world were sounding the alarm. Because sure, this new imaginary, wholly unprecedented religious right of discrimination was designed to be used against the LGBT community. And that should be bad enough. But in case it wasn't, we made it super clear that it was also going to be used against every other minority. And in the case of women, it would even be used against a majority. So fast forward to 2019, I've got yet another case of it for you. This one revolves around the Billy Graham rule. As I'm sure you know, that's the evangelical imperative that says men aren't allowed to be alone in a room with a woman lest she use one of her evil vagina spells to seduce them. It's what the goddamn vice president of the United fucking states recommends. Now, defenders of the rule will say it's not there because they can't stop themselves from raping everyone of the opposite gender unless there's a witness. They say it's there to keep people from even having a reason to think anything inappropriate is going on. Because these people have no imagination when it comes to fucking. Apparently, they think it's incapable of taking place when more than two people are around and requires multiple genders. So the story in question comes out of North Carolina, where a deputy by the name of Manuel Torres was fired from his job for failing to treat an employee equally because of her gender. But of course, he was ready with his excuse and is now complaining that he failed to treat an employee equally because of her gender religiously. Apparently, he was asked to train this new officer, but since that meant riding in a car together and since she had a lady hole, he refused, citing the Billy Graham rule. And then his boss said, you know, something like, yeah, but you don't work for Billy fucking Graham. Do your goddamn job. To which Manuel said something like, uh, no. To which his boss said something like, give me your badge and your gun, Torres, you're off the case. And now former Deputy Torres is suing the city, citing the fact that religious people get their own set of rules. He's claiming he was fired for refusing to do his job religiously. And in the lawsuit, he also claims that his former employer sent negative referrals to other police departments that he applied to, which probably said something like he had to fire him because he's afraid of women, which admittedly is pretty fucking negative. Pretty sure the truth can't be defamation, though. Anyway, I'm going to go start some rumors that Mike Pence is into all male gangbangs real quick so that he can't be in a room with men anymore. So I'll hand things back over to Noah Heath. And Eli.